What's going on guys, McSkillet here with another CSGO video, and today I'm making a video on the next weapon case, and um, there was re recently an announcement on the official Steam news tab um, for Counter-Strike Global Offensive on all the different weapons that are going to be added. They haven't announced the exact skins yet though, but as you can see here, the covert red skins in this case are going to be an M4A1S skin. Now, some of the most popular M4A1S skins include the M4A1S Lionheart, as well as the M4A1S Ikazu. I actually have some exclusive gameplay of the M4A1S Lionheart, which could very potentially be the M4A1S skin in this case because of how popular it is, but I'll have a link to that video in the description if you guys haven't seen it yet. But the Ikazu is also a pretty sweet looking one that's pretty, um, it's a pretty nice looking skin. But there's also the Lord Worm, I believe it's what it's called. It's like Blue Worm, something like that. I think it's Lord Worm. It's another awesome looking skin, but it's probably going to be one of those three. Those are probably the most popular. But um, there's also going to be a G3 SG1 skin, which uh, is kind of funny that they're actually making a red skin for the T side auto because I don't even believe they have a pink skin for that uh, skin at the moment. So they're going right from purple to red. Um, that's probably not going to be worth anything. It's going to be a really cheap red because whenever they make a red for a non-main weapon, it's never worth anything. Unless this is like the most epic skin ever, then it could potentially be worth something. Or I'm not expecting it to be worth too much though. And they don't have a skin for that yet. As you can see, it has a star on it. And all the ones that have a star on it, they don't actually have a set skin that they're going to use for that yet. So if you guys are skin creators, feel free to try to submit a skin for any of the starred um, guns on this list. Now, and moving on to the pink or the classified skins um, we have the USPS now what I think this could potentially be it could be the USPS Cyrex or the USPS Hyper Beast now I'm not 100% sure but those are some really popular ones and um, I definitely would expect it to be one of those it could be another one but I know those two are pretty popular AK-47 there's a lot of AK-47s some AK skins that I think have potential to be the next skin are the AK-47 Polar Bear the AK-47 Nightmare the AK-47 Cyrex, and the AK Propaganda. And I'm, I actually have some exclusive gameplay on the Propaganda as well. I'll have a link to that in the description also. But uh, those are some of the most popular AK skins. There's also plenty of other AK skins, but those are some of the ones that I know of that are pretty popular. Now moving on for the SSG skin. Uh, this hasn't been created, of course, because it has a star on it. So they still need that, a skin for that. And they also need a skin for the M249. I don't know why they're adding an M249 skin. They should probably just take that gun out of the game in the first place since it's completely useless and people just accidentally buy it. Um, just a worse version of an, of an Agev, pretty much. But anyway, but moving on to the P250, I'm predicting it could be the P250 Alpha because that's a very nice looking skin and pretty popular in the community. I don't really recall any other popular P250 skins, you guys can let me know if you think any other P250s have potential to make it into the game, but there's also going to be a Mag7 and Galil AR skin added um, for the restricted purple category. And then there's a bunch of mil-spec skins, most of these don't have a skin made yet, but the Glock 18, it could be the Glock uh, Brimstone. Not really, there's also the Glock Jellyfish, those are pretty nice skins though, so I'm not sure if they would put them at the blue mil-spec category. And then there's also going to be a new MAC-10 skin, and I'm not really sure what that could be yet, because there's a ton of MAC-10 skins on the workshop, and a lot of them look really nice. But uh, they, still need, they still need skins for all the starred ones, so... Um, you guys can make skins for those if you're good skin creators. But um, otherwise, if you guys have any predictions on what you think any of the skins that aren't starred um, could be, because they haven't revealed that yet, feel free to let me know in the comments um, if you d agree with what I thought could potentially be the next skins, or if you have any other stuff that you think could make it into the game. But that's pretty much it for the video, guys. And I'm Mick Skillet, and I'm out.